Hey guys, I am coming at you with a do-it-yourself project again. So today I am doing with my daughter a, a Rubik's Cube Valentine's Day box for her to receive her Valentine's. So first I'm gonna show you guys what materials you will need and then I'll jump in with the actual video. So first off, I got these foam, uh, assorted foam sheets and there's 50 sheets, all different colors. I will not use all of these colors, but um, it was just a uh, financially, it made sense like to get all of these colors versus picking out the colors that I do need because um, this was like six bucks this pack. If you don't want to use the foam sheets to make like a 3D effect, that's a-okay. You can use construction paper or cardstock in the colors for your Rubik's Cube and that will work just as fine. Um, next, you will need a box. You can either recycle one from an Amazon, a package, or um, I found these options that I wanna show you. So this is the Wilton cake box or dessert box that I found in Walmart at the cake department. And these boxes are perfectly even because they're for cakes and stuff. And I think with an Rubik's Cube, you kind of want it to make sure it's all one, all the same sides are at even lengths. And um, since it's a cube. So I went ahead and got this for two bucks, but I found out my paper that I have at home, my cardstock won't cover the whole box because I bought too big of a box. And on top of that, I am sick as you can hear. So I just felt extremely lazy and I was like, you know, I really don't want to be gluing paper to boxes all night. Um, and I don't have black wrapping paper. Black wrapping paper is another option that you can wrap your box up with black wrapping paper to make sure it's all even. But um, I don't have that and I don't want to be hot gluing paper to and cutting size and lengths to make sure I can use this box. So instead of using that box for um, $2, I went ahead and I googled black box and um, there was a perfect seven inch evenly cubed box with a lid at Michael's for $5 that I picked up. I'll show it to you and um, I will be using that instead. And also you will need a hot glue gun and scissors. So I'm going to show you the box and then I'm going to jump in the tutorial. Black box that I picked up guys, it has a lid like I said. This is a barcode um, and it was from Michael's. Oh my goodness. I bought it for, um, it was $5. I ended up getting it for three something cause I had a coupon. So this is what we will be using. And um, yeah. The colors you will need for your Rubik's cube will be yellow, white, orange, green, blue, and red. I completely spaced about green, but you will later on see that I did add the color green. Each color you will make nine squares. I made my squares two by two, and as you can see, this is how I measured them out. Next, you will take your scissors and cut out each square. So we decided to add a face to our box. We are using two little pink hearts for the blush, where it have two sets of black circles and two white circles for the eyes. And we will be making a bow out of this purple and pink. As you can see, this is how we made our bow. You can make yours however you want, or if you want to add a real bow, whatever floats your boat. We are now gluing the squares on the box. I would recommend you to have your placement down so that way when you're gluing your squares you have a guide to go off of. I use a little bit of a drop in the middle and just glue it on.
So my daughter wanted all of her colors mixed up and jumbled and next we will be adding the bow and the face to the box. You will need to cut out a slit on the top so that way the Valentine's Day cards can be dropped in. And this is the final result. So as you can see, I'm really red. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you and your loved ones have a happy Valentine's Day.